Hello there, my friend, and welcome back to more DC. So today we had more of these really, really handy quests coming into the game. And so we have Jewel Jewel and Jewel Jewel 2. And in these two quests, you'll see that I've done quite a few of the stages now already. But these quests both require either Jewel Parliament or Jewel Perception. And this Jewel Perception quest in particular is actually a really, really nice one. Uh, because Jewel Perception was not that long ago actually available free to play in a maze event. So tons of free to play players managed to pick up dual perception in that event. And now you can actually use him in these quests to get free gems, free joker orbs and free orbs for dual perception himself. It's basically free empowerment. The only thing is to be able to finish off all of the fights in this, you need to have your dual perception and dual parliament fully leveled up. But you'll see I just got 15 of his orbs right there but each of these battles has a one hour cooldown and these quests last for a week so if you don't already have these dragons or have them empowered you've still got a little bit more time and we did just have all of these dragons available on sale in the shop for like the anniversary uh, purchasing not that i'm taking advantage of that because i am free to play but you'll see that in these stages since i have my dual perception dragon at level 50 that means that we can complete all of these and you'll see that that means we're going to get another 20 orbs of dual perception gems legendary joker orbs and then finally at stage 15 200 orbs of this boy oh it's tasty it really is but if you don't have your dragon empowered, then the furthest that you're going to be able to go is going to be stage five, which is 10,000 food. But before that, it's 15 gems. And now I did have the option of empowering dual parliament during the empower happy hour, but I didn't want to waste so many joker orbs on it just to, you know, get to this point. So I was like, nah, nah, I'm not going to do it. If you can actually make it to stage 15 though, then it would be worth the empowerment to be honest. But before that, Eh, not really. But you know, these are two both really, really good dragons. It's um, generally accepted that Perception is the better of the two because of his second skill. But we have these quests on right now, as we sort of knew from a while ago. We do also have rank up quests at the moment. So make sure you're logging in for these rank up quests and in that using dragons that you really do want to get ranked up because these are super good for that. Usually ranking up dragons takes like, what, two to two weeks to a month-ish, depending on how diligent you are. But with these rank up quests, you can get them done in a few days. It's really, really OP. So pick a good one. On top of that, of course, we've still got the Norn event going on. We've got the Redemption event going on. And we will potentially be having some more events ongoing at the moment. We're also going to be having a maze event starting very soon. And in that, we should have some quests that can give us a guitar and an accordion along with maze event currency. But the other thing to potentially be aware of, because this is early info, so nothing is guaranteed, but it's to be expected that all of the redemption dragons are going to have their own mini quests, just like the, you know, the ascended dragons did. The difference being that in these you can get insignias, but the dragons need to be empowered to level five. So the current quests are much, much better because the dragon only needs to be empowered twice, not empowered five times, because E5 is ridiculous. Uh, speaking of E5, we do have um, your girl coming up in four days' time. Man, the time has taken so long to get them fully upgraded. That's the main thing that I have an issue with. But of course, the other thing that we've got going on at the moment, aside from Alliance Chess, which is just gay dragon breeding. I don't care about him. I call him gay dragon because he's rainbow themed, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I don't care about him too much. But we do have Heroic Race on at the moment, and I am currently on lap 14, way ahead of everyone else. But right now we need to collect gold, and we do have our precious, precious, lovely skip. But I'm not going to use this immediately, because the best time to use this skip is actually going to be on the, ne the next set of tasks. Because you see, we've got lap 14 here. And we're currently on lap 14, node 3, the Kalelkt gold section, which is apparently going to take a max of an hour and 13 minutes. So we need to wait a few more minutes before we can finish off this Kalelkting. 
Then after that, we're going to have more collecting food, and then we're going to have battle dragons. And with this collecting food, we're going to have to wait 2 hours, 27 minutes, which I'll be awake for that long. And then just as that finishes off, we can use our, our special skip to try and insta finish the battle dragon section. That is my plan, because what you want to do is you want to make sure that you've collected all of the food on node 4, so that then if you do get a skip of any kind, it doesn't give you the food and instead it only gives you the battle task items. So that is going to be the plan with that one. And then lap 14 node 5 is just some horrific breeding. So I look forward to that. Yippee ki -yay. But you will see that in terms of breeding and hatching, I haven't been breeding or hatching pretty much anything just to make sure that I am fully prepared for this heroic race because genuinely I just do not want to potentially screw up any of it so the only breed I've been doing has been in breeding sanctuary for potentially deep red but it's it's not happening aside from that both of these dens are always free with just terrors in them and that means that we've got all of these spots for terror dragon eggs and we have all of these available for terrors as well but the thing is, since we aren't going to probably be making much progress, what I'm going to do is once we get to the collecting food and that's all cleared and we use our skip, if we don't get a skip that instantly finishes the battle dragon section, then I'm going to fill my, my hatchery with some eggs so that then, you know, we can actually hatch some stuff in the meantime. That is my ultimate game of strat during Heroic Race anyway, but... Aside from that, the only other thing that we've got going on at the moment is, of course, Arena. And Arena is going to be much more difficult for me at the moment because I have lost my High Nest, which it was my own choice to do it as such. But, you know, I could still be a little bit salty about it, the fact that we've lost the dragon regardless. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things. It's like, do I keep waiting and waiting and waiting to empower this High Nest or should I just get it done, to be honest? And... Yeah, I just decided to get it done because, you know, I've been saving up stuff for ages and ages and, you know, I just wanted to get some stuff to level 70. You know, <laughs> It's like I didn't have a level 70 this whole time and now suddenly we're going to have two of them. Which, you know, they're not exactly the bestest disc dragons in the game. Like, they're the VIP heroics, obviously. Uh, but they are going to be dragons that will help us greatly in arenas, for example. Although they do both have wind element, so God help us during those arenas, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, God help us during those. But I'm sure we'll be fine for the most part. We can always just skip, skip, skip. And then, of course, the ultimate goal is going to be to have, like, 20 dragons that are maxed. We can have a full gold profile eventually. That is the ultimate ultimate goal of all of this uh but you know it's still gonna take a while before we get there so i'm not too panicked at the moment we're just chilling we're enjoying our current race because you know despite how tedious heroic races can be personally i never ever set alarms for them which i know may be unheard of and heresy to some players but i never set alarms ever for the heroic race and I think I just generally keep a good eye on it or sort of keep track in my brain and it sort of works out. But of course, if you're not someone that can multitask very easily like that, then 100% be using your your um, your wonderful, wonderful timers as much as you want. It's just timers when I have to physically set timers to wake up or to remind me to do a thing at a set time. It just it doesn't feel fun to me. But anyway, that is my mini uh, sidetrack right there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think some people just expect everyone else to always be using timers and things like that, just because, you know, it makes sense. It's like, we've got timer-based events, so you should always be using a timer. That's the only way you're going to succeed. It's just, it's just not true. You can keep tracking your little old brainy, and it works for the most part. I'm, um, well... You know, it's not like I do the bestest on planet Earth in these heroic races or anything, but I certainly get enough of the rewards to feel like I'm, you know, getting value out of these events at least. So anyway, I think that just in general, being aware of what's going on is the main thing that's going to help you, which is pretty obvious, but um, I don't think people really understand what that means. It's just like always having the game somewhere in the back of your brain, which actually kind of sounds like a bad thing. 
Yeah, like I say it out loud, it sounds like an obsession. <laughs> That's not what I meant. But anyway, uh, let's see. Are we going to get absolutely bum bounced by this Master Karma? Shall we see? There's bum bounce number one. Oh, thank God he healed. Bum bounce number two. Okay, we're lucky. Uh, bum bounce number two. Okay, lovely. Ever since that, that other time where he hit me nine times in a row, I'm just terrified now. <laughs> Uh, never again, please. Please, HMK. You've had enough times where you've bum bounced me now. And that should be the, the end of it. But anyway, that is a nice and easy win. We can collect another one of these. And what have we got? What have we got in the spe- Oh, maracas and some Morpheus orbs. This is wonderful. And plus we get Pixie Drake orbs. So yes, grinding out the arena is nice. Nice indeed. I was actually avoiding grinding in the arena a little bit, I'll be honest. Um... Ew, ew, this fight doesn't look fun at all. Uh, uh, I should have really used my my tower bounce. Um, eh, should we try and do it? I'm just going to do it anyway. Screw it. If we die, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, uh, <laughs> suddenly I'm scared. Well, we need High Famishy to deal with the Morpheus. Uh, the main one I'm worried about is actually Glutnos because Glutnos... He's not the best vampire ever, but just his uh, his reviving nonsense is not fun to deal with. Okay, we actually did get you first. That's fine, although we instantly lost our boy, which is not ideal. Oh, we're not going to be able to two-shot you. No, I thought we would. I should have known that. Well, I think we've lost, which is fine, uh, but it was interesting to see regardless. Oh, actually, no, he used his ability straight away. We're fine. <laughs> I thought what was going to happen is this was going to happen and then he was going to instantly one-shot me, but no. No, that isn't what happened. Okay. That's fine. Thank you, CPU, for not being very smart. Okay, we've got some low-level dragons here, which means that we can rank up our, our dragons that actually need ranks. Uh, I'm not going to give it to Dan. Do we have any more? Oh, Corrupted Legend! Yes, yes. Let's start ranking up your boy Corrupted Legend. That is a good idea, me. Uh, how much damage does he do, though? Let's see. 43,000. He has empowered ones. That is not bad. What's his basic damage looking like? Okay, that's fine. That's a two shot. That's that's okay. And he heals all of his little delicious HP back. Oh, I'm going to love this dragon when we get him upgraded. He's going to be wonderful, I'm telling you. Speaking of which, I should probably actually go and feed him. Although I was saving my my food for the the other quest but i've got tons more food now because of the alliance chest let's get our, our jammies while we're here and then we should get more insignias in this chest done before we know it but yeah where the heck did i put corrupted legend i have no idea where any of my dragons are anymore corrupty hello hello there he is uh oh yeah, when he gets max ranked and empowered a bit more, he's going to be a big boy and he's going to work really well with our current dragons. No, I am not paying £13 for 200 orbs of him. It's terrible. Ugh. Disgusting. But anyway, we've got plenty more empowerment to get doing and all of that stuff. In the meantime, I guess we're only going to get two more gold items. So I'll wait another 12 minutes, I guess. But anyway... This should be another easily successful heroic race. My goal ultimately is going to be... Well, the, the true goal is lap 20 for the birthday hamper, but I don't think I'm going to make it there. I think I'm probably going to get a bit busier towards tomorrow and onwards. So, I don't know. Maybe as long as we get to lap 18 and get some more orbs of high, um, Synchro... Maybe then I'll be happy. Lap 18 should be fine. If I can't be bothered, then the mythical egg will do it. <laughs> I know it's only one lap away, but it's genuinely like that. But, you know, we're going to make it to lap 15 regardless with plenty of days spare. Like, we're easily going to do it with, like, five, four and a half days left. It's super doable with these events to get up to lap 15. I don't know why people give up so early. It's really not that difficult. There are plenty of days leeway. Of course, I've used a couple of gems for the fights and that, but even if you don't gem, you can still make it to 15. I don't know why people give up, but anywho, skis, I guess that is me for now. Make sure you're keeping track of your quests if you're doing them. I cannot wait for these lovely jewel orbs, but for now, I hope you have a great day.